I've been kind of busy here lately, but not really at the same time. I don't know. It's all good. Any hoot. Yeah, I haven't been making videos. Like I said, I'm been kind of busy. Hmm. Last month has been a little rough for me, but it'll be okay though. Um, okay, to like start off, my boyfriend doesn't live in the haunted apartment anymore. Um, he and I have a place together. Yay, oh my god! And coming up next month, like, we'll have been together for one year. Sweet! Um, some point in, some point in the hopefully near future, hopefully, I want to do a video about how, like, you know, about how he and I got together, because like, that's a, you know, great story. But speaking of stories, I have one not so great to talk about. Um, I meant to do this like a few days ago, but I just couldn't, you know. It took me a few days to like be able to get to where I can talk about this now. Uh, like without breaking down. Um, anywho, so I'm gonna like talk about how the place that I walked at killed me. Like literally. Um, I'm not. I'm not gonna like give the name of of said place at this point in time. Um. Yeah. Okay. So. I was. I was trying to do something that you know is referred to as transitioning in place. And, you know, which, I mean, it's easier to do that nowadays, whereas instead of like 20 years ago. But, I don't, I don't exactly live in a like super culturally enlightened area of the country. I mean, uh, well, better than some areas, but at the same time, some pockets, not so much. Like, my... My neighbor that lived across the street from me, every time he saw me, like, he told me, you know, that he wanted to kill me. Yeah, good times. Anyway, so, on with the story. Okay, so... Right, so, you know, I was, I was doing what's referred to as transitioning in place. Um... Uh, I had started. I was hired on, like, as a a dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and then um, yeah. I was. Let's see. I think it was about a year in, like when I you know started, you know transitioning um it took it took a few more months before I was able to start presenting as female at, at work um like I I fucking fought battles yeah like just to be able to present at work that was a huge fight and finally, I stopped, you know, waiting for permission. I was like, "Fuck y'all! I'm just, I'm just gonna do this." Um, Any hoot. So um, at first, everything was going okay. You know, um, management kind of had my back, but I mean, the management. I'm not liking that. Okay. Ah, oh, I wish I had some better lighting in here, but oh well. Baby steps. Um, I mean, management's, 
management's management. Like, they, they don't care about you. Period. All you are is, you know, dollar signs to them. Um, but in hoot, um, and be before I talk about this father, I don't, I don't really fault them. They, they didn't know what to do. Yeah. I mean, that's not an excuse, but at the same time, as I said, I don't necessarily fault them. Um, like the uh, store manager, he'd been in management for like 20 plus years and had never come across my situation. So, which is understandable, it's not, it's not something that's super common, yeah. Um, in Hoot. Okay, so like I said, enforcement management was, you know, supportive and all. In fact, everybody except for this one dude was, like, supportive for, at least to my face. At least. And anyway, so, um, um, time goes on and, and this dude and I get in, in a huge confrontation. Um, he almost, he almost hit me, and if, if that would have made contact, I probably would not have survived it. Yeah. So, so I talked to, to the store manager about that, and his response was less than favorable. And it opened up the floodgates. Yeah. At that point in time, I was afraid to lose my job. Yeah. And then, you know, by the by the time that what I'm about to talk about, you know, came along, I just kind of stopped caring. Okay, so all of that that went down was, you know, late November of 2016. So, July, July 7th, you know, 2017, I was physically hit by a co-worker, and I'm not going to drop any names. I don't name drop. Yeah. I mean... Okay, I don't, I don't usually name drop. Sometimes I do, but, you know, usually I make sure I have said individual's permission to, you know, put their name out there. Anyway, so, you know, um, I was physically hit at work right in front of management because I, because I, they do the, the Okay, they do that hit me. He and I like you know got into a verbal altercation, and I kind of decided I'm like you know no fuck this, I'm gonna tell management what he just told me. And he got all pissy that I was gonna go talk to management. And okay, so I'm I'm in the doorway. Manager 1 is in the office facing me. Manager 2 is standing off to my left, again facing me. And this dude comes up and hits me. They take him into the office, give him a 10 minute group hug, and take me outside of the building and tell me that it was all my fault. That was the night that I stopped caring about my job. Don't get me wrong, I still did my job. Because I'm a, I'm a professional and that's what I do. But I stopped caring after that night. Um, so, which leads me to uh, a couple months later. This would have been September 3rd. I was pulling a double. Yeah. Uh, I went in 7 a.m., got off. 
about 12.30, I think. Yeah. Uh, you know, again, a.m. <laughs> yeah, fun times. Anywho, um, and so that night I was walking with this, you know, one guy. Usually did, you know, you know, you know, solo position. But like, they brought him back to, you know, do dish because the other, the other guy that was, Supposed to be walking dish that night, you know, he was sick and called out. Um, I think he might have been sick of having a paycheck, but that's, that's not my call. Anywho, um, and so all night, all night long, that dude just, just fucking tearing me down, um, threatening me, and, Okay, people have told me, like, you know, oh, you're so strong, you know, blah, blah, blah. I'm not. I'm not strong. I'm not strong at all. I broke. I fucking tapped out. At that point in time, there was a lot of things in my life that was like, Kind of in a, in a in a negative direction, and that was just icing on the cake. I was like, you know, I was like, I can't do this anymore. So I'm not sure what time it was, but you know, it was Monday morning. You know, Monday, September fourth. Oh, I think September 4th was a Monday. <laughs> anyway, you know, it was, you know, Monday morning. And, um... I took a handful of pills. I was hoping that I, like, would not wake up. But obviously I did, obviously. Um... And I mean, I'm not gonna say it's all been, you know, roses, you know, you know, since then. But like that was that was the last time that I like went there. Um, of course, like, oh my God, I can't, I can't say enough good things about my boyfriend. Oh my God, like he's like so fucking amazing. Um. I just love him so much. Um, you know, I mean, like, like I said, you know, this this past month has been a little rough for me. I mean, like, one thing I had that you know anniversary, you know, coming up. Yeah, you know, and also there was like, there's a couple of other things that I'm facing right now. But. I'm so glad that Chris is in my life. Um, cause like, he's helping me through. Oh my God, he's just amazing. But yeah, that's my like quick story about how my job killed me. Um, About a week after, and, and I mean this, all of this just goes to like you know, as evidence of the uh, of the management's attitudes towards me out there like where I walked. Um, okay, so it was about a week later. Yeah, you know, yeah, you know. Uh, it was about a week later. I went and I talked to this one manager that I halfway trusted. Because, like, you know, uh, all of the managers there, there was only one that I halfway trusted. And so I went and, and like, you know, kind of talked to her off the record, or tried to. And her response to me was, 
well, you probably dissolved it. Like, literally, that's what she fucking said to me when I told her that this dude had driven me to, like, do what I had done. But, you know, I'm not, I'm not in that place anymore, so, fuck them. Um, and, I mean, cause like, Okay, like this video is like gonna be on YouTube, so it's obviously obviously gonna be out there. So, if a certain, you know, you know, straight up upstanding dude sees this, fight the power. Um, hope you have a good day. You know, um, good day, good life. Oh yeah. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go lay down with my boyfriend. Mwah.